128. 128. That, that, that's all it takes. And what's your excuse? I haven't found anyone to marry. What did he say? Hey! 128. Then they're cute. They're cute. As long as there are videos like this on social media, I will always have something to say. It's one thing to come across this kind of video, but I feel like if I don't talk about this, I feel like I'm not doing my duty or I'm not following my calling because like, I feel called to do this, believe it or not. And if I could save one person or five people, that would make me so happy because uh, I've been doing this for like five years, mostly underground. I mean, if you enjoy my private Facebook group or you join my Patreon, you will see that I've been doing this for a long time. I literally have more than 500 posts on my Patreon, of which I encourage you to join. Shameless self-plug, I know. But who the hell else am I going to promote? I'm going to promote myself, obviously. But anyways, of course, on your own free will, obviously. I'm not forcing anyone. But... If I can save five people, that will make me so happy. And it makes me so happy. It fills my heart with joy when women come to me and tell me, oh my God, Maria, you changed my life. I am so happy. I am in a much better place than I was three years ago, a year ago. That makes me happy. And this is one of the reasons why I've decided to, you know, get on my YouTube Zoom, <laughs> literally, because... I know that there are more people out there that needs to discover me. And that's not going to happen if I just stay on the ground or in the background. I got to put myself out there, which is what I'm doing right now. But anyways, back to this video. Most people will see a video like that and they will probably leave a comment or they're going to scroll past. But you got to, I feel like it's my duty to bring awareness to this. Now, the title of this video is Girl Stop Begging. Just stop begging. Ladies, please stop begging i don't believe in begging and ultimatums and that type of stuff like if you have to give a man an ultimatum that's begging if you have to manipulate a man to marry you that's begging if you have to read books on how to manipulate a man to be more generous that's begging you shouldn't have to beg like you literally shouldn't have to beg i mean if you need proof that you're a placeholder. The fact that you're begging, that in itself is the overwhelming proof that you need. Okay, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna go back to Sex in the City. Remember when Carrie was dating Aiden? They were in basically in a relationship and they lived together. He had a key, she had a key. He bought the apartment next door so that he can extend and they will have a much bigger space. He was investing so much into that relationship. Carrie cheated on him and he still invested a lot in the relationship. I mean, he they broke up and then he got back together. But I want you to go back. I think this was season two. And look at the scene where he was basically begging her to marry him. It was at night. They were somewhere near a fountain or something like that. And he was basically begging her. You know, they got engaged. She took the ring off her finger and put it around her on her necklace. She like she was wearing the ring around her neck. And I mean, this girl didn't want this man at all. And the reason why Carrie behaved like that in that relationship with Aiden is because Aiden was the placeholder. Aiden was the one that would fill the space until big comes back because she was always holding out for big so if a man doesn't want to marry you he's holding out for something else he's holding out for someone else it's that simple it's that simple it shouldn't be that hard it shouldn't be that hard ladies so that's how you know you're the placeholder if you have to beg this girl is begging in this video like begging like <laughs> that's all it takes what's your excuse <laughs> she is begging and that reminds me of when Aiden was begging Carrie, you know, just to close the deal. Let's get married. Like he was ready and she was not. I mean, homegirl wore the ring out on her necklace, around her neck. Like what more proof did he need to realize that this bitch was not serious, right? So yeah, I mean, you know, this situation made me think of that. I am going to say the most cliche thing ever, but this is, this is it. Ladies, if he wanted to, he would I know, I know. Even though I don't like that statement, and I'll tell you why I don't like it. So even though I don't like it, it is so true. It is so true. But now I'll tell you why I don't like it. We know that it's true, but it irritates me when I see people that get on the internet, men and women, 
And when it's me, when it's a man, it really annoys the hell out of me because men giving women relationship advice is so foul. Like ladies, do not ever take relationship advice. Do not take relationship advice from men. Men will always seek their own interests and they will seek the interests of their homies and their boys and their that's what men do. Men have a vested interest in gaslighting women and making women believe that they have to jump through hoops to get a man or to be married, etc. The same men that will literally be in a relationship with a woman for like 10 years and then leave her and get married in six months. Those are the same men that coming up, coming on here and want to give you relationship advice. Do not take advice from men. But a lot of the relationship advice that you're going to get from men are usually advice that is not applicable. Advice that is very toxic. And even if it's good relationship advice, it's advice from that they stole from women. Relationship advice, relationship gurus, all of that stuff is a grift. It really is. And it's a quick way for people to, to make money just giving basic ass relationship advice. Get on the internet and talking about ladies, if he wanted to, he would. Um, Come and, and pay me $200 for a consultation. Like, please, ladies, don't. Don't do it. Because I can guarantee you the relation, the advice that they're giving you is not applicable. It's not going to serve you in any way. Or even if it's good, proper advice, they stole it from a woman. Because we live in a patriarchy and women put men on a pedestal simply because it's a patriarchy. Women desperately need male validation. Men need male validation too, but that's a whole nother conversation. But a lot of women need male approval and male validation. I never got it. I never understood it, but it is what it is. And some women wouldn't take advice unless it's coming from a man. I get it. But ladies, please stop it. You do not need their approval. You do not need their validation. If the validation doesn't come from within, then that validation is null and void. So anyway, back to begging. Let's talk about the lady in the video. What is she saying? 125. That's all that it takes. 125. So what is the excuse? That man literally told you that he haven't found anyone to marry. And you are in a relationship with this man. Like I went to her page, like she is three kids in. She invested time, energy, her womb, <laughs> three kids and he still doesn't want to marry you what should i you know what maybe i should um rethink the title of this video maybe the title of this video should be good enough to have my kids but not good enough to marry you know what that's going to be the title of this video because that's basically what's happening here you are good enough to be a baby mama you're good enough to carry his kids and carry on his genes that should not have been carried on anyway but not good enough to marry if a man got three kids out of you and he still refused to marry you you are a placeholder. You are a starter girlfriend. You are the come up woman because you are not the woman that you want to marry. And that man does not look great. He looks broke and he looks like he's not aging very well. He looks tired. So he clearly doesn't have a lot of options, which is why he's still stuck with you. But he refused to marry you because you know what? He's still holding out because he's still thinking that, you know what, there's a chance. I have this chance. Maybe there's a chance that I'm going to be successful. He's waiting for his big break. That's what he's waiting for. He's waiting for that big break so that he can become who he want to become and that he can attract the woman that he really wants. Stop being a placeholder. Men who settle for women that they do not want, I have no respect for them. And that's one of the things that I really like about my husband because my husband was never the type of man to have a placeholder or sleep with someone, you know, just to be, just to, I, I don't know, just so that they wouldn't he wouldn't be lonely or or whatever and just keep this person here as a placeholder until he finds the right one he's not that kind of person my husband has a type he has a certain standard and everyone in his family knows this when people when they saw me when they met me they wasn't surprised that he was dating me because they all know that he really like exceptionally beautiful women and that's all that he's going to date he would never settle for less he would never date someone that is not his type that's my husband and i really respected that about him but anyways men who settle for women that they do not want i don't respect them i just don't because why would you get in a relationship with someone that you don't want to marry? Have kids with someone that you don't want to marry? Why would you do something like something like that? That is evil. So men that settle for women they do not want are evil. Evil and trifling and should not be trusted. But yeah, this girl invested years into this relationship. Give this man kids and now she's on the internet begging. That video is viral. She turned the comments off, okay? Like no, no one can comment on that video because I know, we already know what those comments 
would look like. That comment section must have been in shambles, which is why she had to turn them off because everyone was saying, girl, stop begging. I'm sure everyone was saying the same thing I'm saying. Girl, stop begging. You look pathetic. What the F is wrong with you? Ladies, please know, know your word. Learn, not learn. Know your word, ladies. And if you do not know your word, don't date. Because if you do not know your word and you do not love yourself and you're dating, all you're going to attract is karmic relationships. Most relationships are karmic. That's why most relationships don't last. That's why a lot of marriages don't last. Because people are in karmic relationships. They have to be in those relationships to learn. And if the, lessons, if the lesson is not learned, they're just going to keep repeating the pattern. This girl is not going to leave this relationship until she learns to love herself and learns to validate herself. Because someone who loves themselves will not be in the situation. But this is a very sad situation. And I feel really sad for her. Like you begging for a $125 ring. And the thing, the thing is, it's not the price of the ring. The price of the ring has nothing to do with any of this because clearly he can afford 125 but he refused he refuses the man is literally telling you he's telling you that he hasn't found someone that he wants to marry and you have his kids and you begging him and you posted that video and turned the comments off and you know i used to wonder why these people would post these videos and leave them up but then i understand now because you know, people in, in America, they get paid for TikTok views. And I think America is the only country where people get paid for their TikTok views because I don't get paid for my TikTok views at all. People in my country don't get paid for TikTok views. So that's probably why they leave the video up because they're getting money. Because I would have deleted that video. I wasn't going to leave that video up. Hell no. But yeah, stop begging, ladies. You are better than that. Stop giving men kids. Stop getting pregnant for men who do not want to marry you. It's not that hard. The reason why it's hard for you, if you are in a sim similar situation, is because you probably believe that you don't deserve better. Okay? It's all about your self-concept and the relationship that you have with yourself. The most important relationship that you will ever have is a relationship with yourself. And if you don't work on that relationship, you know, the relationship with yourself, any other relationship that you have will reflect how you feel about yourself. Get some, go get therapy, ladies. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say, but you gotta remember that the person that you're in a relationship with is a reflection of how you feel about yourself, how much you love yourself, okay? The people that you attract into your life are a vibrational match to you. Those people are meant to be in your life because that's what you attracted based on your vibration. So if you are dealing with men that see you as, you know, just good enough to be a baby mama, but not good enough to be a wife, then you got to ask yourself, what is it about you that attracted that situation? We got to take accountability, ladies. We have to take accountability for ourselves because nobody is going to do it for us. And, you know, taking accountability for yourself is, I know it's hard, you know, because it's a bruise to the ego and everything. But, you know, it has to be done and the only person that can do it is yourself. I mean, people will, people will call you out and, you know, t tell you that you're dumb you know, people might, you know, be mean to you or whatever, but at the end of the day, if you don't put in the work, okay, because inner work is important, all of this stuff is inner work, all right? If you don't put in that work, girl, listen, you're going to go around life wasting time, wasting precious time with people who don't value you and repeating toxic patterns. You got to break the cycle, ladies. We got to break the cycle. So if this woman wanted any advice, because I don't think she does, but let's pretend that she wanted advice. This is the advice I would give her. Start planning your escape. You have to start your life. First thing you're going to do is put this man on child support because you will need that child support to, to help take care of those kids or whatnot. If you live together, you need to move out or, you or he needs to move out. Go get therapy. Get some therapy. Work on yourself. Invest in yourself. Write down a list of qualities that you would like in a man and be very specific before you even consider a new relationship, before you even start dating again, write down a list of all the qualities that you want in a man. I don't care how superficial those qualities are. It doesn't matter. Okay. One of those qualities is that he wants to marry you and this person loves you. Obviously that should, that is non-negotiable, but write it down and only entertain men that have those qualities. If men that that come into your life lack those qualities, do not entertain them. Because if you have this list, right? Because at the end of the day, in order for you to get to write this list, you have to figure out what you want. And a lot of women are entertaining, not just women, a lot of people are entertaining things and people that they don't want. For example, if you want marriage, 
Why are you entertaining men that do not want marriage? Why, why would you do that? This is the reason why we don't get what we want because we are so desperate. We entertain things that we don't want and we settle. So get that list. Moving forward, only entertain men that have those qualities on that list. Get therapy, work on yourself, invest in yourself, learn how to validate yourself and learn how to love yourself, know your self-worth because you're not just doing this for yourself, but you're also doing it for your kids. Because the longer you stay in that relationship, the older you get and the more time you're wasting. And our time is very precious. So that's what I have to say, y'all. This is really sad. It's sad that, you know, there are men that are quite comfortable creating mothers and creating single mothers that they don't see themselves married. That shit is weird to me. Like if I'm a man, I'm not going to run around getting women pregnant with women that I don't like or women that I don't want. I'm not going to get these women pregnant. But again, I don't know. Maybe that's something that men have to work on. Maybe that's something that's like maybe some kind of gen generational curse. I don't know what that is, but men have to work on themselves first. Sorry. Men have to work on themselves too. And women, we need to work on ourselves. We cannot do the work for men. We can only do the work for ourselves. Our, the work that we need to work on ourselves, we can only do that on our own. We can't pay someone to do it for us. And we can't do the work, the inner work for someone else. You got to take care of number one. Worry about yourself. Focus on yourself. That's all. Thanks for listening.